Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna do a review on this Dyson V12 Detect Slim. Here I got some really bad mess, got some long hair, some really tough dirt in this carpet. We're gonna see how it cleans with this. Then we're gonna put the other head on and clean with the hardwood floors. Okay, I'm gonna turn it on. And I'm gonna turn it on auto. So it's gonna ramp the suction up as it senses that dirt. Now it moves pretty easy on carpet. Okay, here's the really long hair. Looks like it got the hair off the roller. Yeah, it's rolling really easy. I can turn it easy. And I'm gonna turn it off. Yeah, it did really good. There's no hair wrap on the, the brush down there. Okay, I want you to see what I was seeing. So when I turn it on, again, I can change the mode. Boost, auto, that's when it ramps the suction up and down, and then eco. Let's go to auto. Now you'll see, it's gonna tell me how big the stuff is that I'm sucking up. I got a lot of mess there, I want you to see. That's how you'll know if your carpet's clean. Those numbers are gonna be going down. Now it also tells me how much runtime I got left. I've got 22 minutes left at this suction level. If I go to boost, I only have six minutes. Eco, 32 minutes. And they also give you like a chart. It shows you what each one of those lines represents. The yellow is like for really small stuff. Orange is for like microscopic dust. Pink is dust mites. And the purple is like sugar granules. Okay, I've got the different attachment on. Let's turn it on and see how it does. That green light is pretty cool. I can definitely see where the, where the particles are with it. Let's go up against the wall. Very maneuverable on hardwood floors. Very maneuverable. It is a precision vacuum cleaner when you come to hardwood floors. This is where this vacuum cleaner shines literally shines <laughs> okay i got the kitchen lights on now i want you to see if you can see the green light yeah it still works even with the kitchen lights on i've got it in auto mode where it ramps the suction up or down let's go to boost there's boost Very maneuverable. Okay, I got a bunch of mess here on this um, furniture. Let's pretend this was like a pet bed or something. Let's turn it on. Those are some really long hairs too. And you can see it gets all the hairs off. Think. Maybe not. There was a few that kind of caught around here. Okay, you can see this got really full. It's not a super big storage area, but you're going to take this over to your trash can. You're going to press this button down, just push down, and it's going to come down. Now, I do have some hair that's kind of caught up in there, but this was a pretty big torture test. Close it. And now you're ready to go. Again, there's the filter when you need to replace the filter or clean it. Very simple, got a mode switch right here. Big power button that turns it on and off with. 
Okay, this retails for $540. That's an expensive vacuum cleaner. I think it did a good job. I gotta do a little bit more testing on it. Setup was relatively easy. It's Dyson, they always leave a few things out that you gotta kind of figure out on your own. I see now why people get the bigger, they make a lot of these that have bigger waste bin, like a bigger storage area. I see why now, this is actually pretty small. Getting that stuff out, I was hoping the hair would have got out there a little bit better. But, and I'm trying to figure out the, the Micron thing back here. Um, I thought my carpet was pretty clean, but it still was showing quite a bit. So got a little bit to work out learning that. That's a little, I would like, I like like shark that has a, a, a circle that just turns red. And as your carpet gets cleaner, it just turns blue. So it's kind of easy. This one, the micro, the things are real small. I mean, maybe if you're used to a shark, I'm just not used to many sharks. This is my first shark with auto. I did one that had the trigger. I don't like the trigger. I like to turn it on. That way I don't have to do anything. You know, the green light, it did work. It worked good. That was a pretty big torture test. I did not get any hair wrap on this. Um, I did get a little bit of hair stuck in this little corner right here, but I, I ramped it up to high and it sucked it out. This one, there's just a few, few hairs on it. I think if I went over carpet a little bit more, it might get them off. They're not really like tied on there or nothing, but it did a fairly decent job. Uh, super lightweight. It's, you know, moving this on carpet was just okay. Um, this is a precision hardwood floor cleaner. This is where this is designed for, I think. It does okay on carpet, um, but this thing on hardwood floors, you can just, it maneuvers so easy. Precision, you can get right up there next to the walls everywhere. It turns on a dime. Uh, being able to put this on the wall, it's got this wall mount, you got the crevice tool and that. So I love seeing the time remaining. I like that. That's important because I'll be like, oh, well, I need to go to Eco because I'm, about, I'm upstairs. I'm about out of juice. Go to, you know, if you see yourself running out of time, go to Eco. You can at least finish the room, then come back. That way you're not having to go downstairs and charge it. So yeah, not an overall bad design. Um, I do think it has a lot of suction. Works very well. $540. That's a lot of money for a cordless vacuum cleaner. I review a lot of Hoover and Sharks. Um, you know, I've got a Hoover one that I do like. It's not $544. So that's kind of a sticking point for me. You know, the sharks, some of the sharks get up around $500. Um, I did buy this used off Amazon. That's why you see the sticker right here. They've got open box. This thing was almost perfect. Looks like somebody just took it out of the box, maybe used it for a little bit. I didn't see much wear and then put it back. And I think I saved about a hundred bucks. So be sure and check out underneath new, check out the used on Amazon. Um, I'll put links to this underneath the show description notes. There's so many different Dysons out there. V12 detect slim detect. It definitely detects. It ramps up the suction. I like that. Um, yeah, I can see why some of these things are huge, which I don't know if I'd get the huge, huge one, but I see why now, but it's lightweight. So you, there's a trade off there. Um, I'll be doing comparisons with this. I want to do a comparison. I got my Hoover, my shark, the next closest one. I'm going to compare them with it. See what we like and don't like about them. Again, really do appreciate everybody's support. Check me out on Instagram. Look for my logo, just a dad over there on Instagram. When I'm done with these products, I do free giveaways. Now I may not give this one away for a while, I want to compare it. I'm probably going to buy two or three more Dysons. I, I bought this with my own money. I just can't buy all the Dysons right away. I've, I've bought them three so far. I've got the Animal Ball. It's the upright vacuum cleaner. It, it's very powerful. It's just kind of gimmicky a little bit. Um, so I'm, I'm going to buy some more, do some comparisons with them. I just can't buy them all right now. i got to wait a little bit. Um, so be sure if you click on the link underneath my video, it does help me out. It takes you to either Amazon or even possibly Walmart. And if you buy the product, I get a small commission from the sale. The product doesn't cost you anymore, but it is a way of supporting my channel. Again, I buy these products with my own money because that's a lot of money, $540. Hmm. I'm still debating about that. I got to use it for a while. Um, seems like some Hoovers and some Sharks do just as good, but this one's got some pretty neat features that I got to figure out. Um, so again, really do appreciate everybody's support. I got lots of robot, got about three robots working over there. 
So you're going to do some comparisons. I'm starting to get into the robots that mop and do all different kinds of things. They're, get, they're up to $1,200 now. $1,500. So I can't get them all at once. I got to get one, do some videos on it. And just, I really do appreciate everybody's support. I'm buying this stuff with my own money. That way I can give you the honest review. Would I go out and spend five right now? Maybe, maybe. It's nice. I don't know the longevity of it. So again, really do appreciate everybody's support. If you could, give it a thumbs up. That helps out my YouTube channel. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. Appreciate everybody's support. Thank you so much. If you could, please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.